Hey everyone and welcome to a partial paint pouring video. Um, in this video, I the first half of the video is um, using a new technique. I was inspired by James Austin Murray who is a guy that uses black oil paints and he screwed a whole bunch of brushes together and makes these really amazing um, patterns in the paint and I thought it was really awesome but obviously I don't want to copy him directly so I'm using his idea but I'm also adding a bunch of color to it um, which by the way is uh, really quite hard to do and I managed to cover myself completely in paint um, it was really quite messy I'm not a huge fan of oil paint actually not a fan at all it's way too messy for me so I actually found this gel, um, this acrylic uh, high gloss gel, and that's what I used to make my paint act like oil paint. Um, I'm sure that the oil paint probably works a whole lot better, but I think this is a pretty good alternative. So there was a couple of um, brush strokes in there that I really liked and that I got rid of and I was pretty sad about it afterwards. But uh, hindsight is twenty twenty, and I'm definitely going to try this one again because it was a lot of fun. And I spent a lot of money on getting the brushes and screwed them all together and everything. Anyways, so I decided to put a, a ribbon of paint along the bottom. This wasn't my first initial plan. I had all these plans to be putting uh, the paint directly into the, the swipes uh, with the thick paint. But the first attempt didn't really work out, so I'm going to have to go back on to the drawing board on that one. I'm also going to have to practice making the patterns in the thick paint with the giant brush. Um, it's very difficult to get smooth, even strokes, and uh, making sure that the paint is all even and everything. Um, it's going to take a lot of practice to make it look good. As you can see right in the middle there, there's kind of like a messed up bit and I actually ended up messing around with it even more and making it pretty ugly. And um, that actually ended up being the, one of the most disappointing parts of the painting for me. Because originally I was going to just leave it as is and kind of make the patterns part of the painting um, and just leave the ribbon along the bottom. But since I messed up that center and middle part so much, you'll see it in the close-up here. I couldn't just leave it. Um, for a while there, I thought that was going to be it, that I was just going to leave the painting and call it a day. And I actually uh, turned off the camera and everything after this point. And I slept on it, and I thought about it. And I let it dry. Um... The thick paint dries uh, surprisingly quickly. Um, I guess that gel is uh, conducive to drying. You can see all the cool textures that I got with the brush in there. Um, but that little spot right in the middle, I just, I hated it so much. So I woke up this morning and I decided that I had to put another ribbon on. So with the second ribbon, I was torn uh, with whether or not I would bring the ribbon completely across the canvas like I did with the first ribbon, but I really wanted to follow the textures in the white paint. And I also thought it would uh, bring a little bit of interest to the painting if I didn't bring it completely across. It's kind of uh, make people wonder why I didn't do that and maybe uh, get people to look a little bit closer and see the textures in the paint. Um, anyways, I used the same colors as I did for the first ribbon, except that I put them in a different order, which ended up being interesting just because it, the ribbons ended up looking pretty different. So that was fun, and I was relatively happy with the ribbon in the end, and it covered up that really ugly part right in the middle. Anyways, that's about it. I hope you like this new painting and this new technique. Um, if you did, remember to hit like and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I think that I'm going to be trying this technique again. There's a whole lot of exploring that I still need to do with it, and it sure was a lot of fun. Uh, so thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye.